Hello and welcome to um, my tutorial of using Lightroom to get really good fitness images. So you might want to take fitness images for a variety of reasons. Um, I really like taking fitness images and I really like to adjust them and actually they're quite easy to adjust and get a really good look without having to delve into Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how today in this tutorial. Um, on the screen you will see a fitness image um, as it is before it's been developed and I'm going to develop it into something that looks like this. And I'm going to talk you through the process now. So um, I've developed it and I'm going to develop it again. So it might look slightly different at the end. I might take a, a different tact. First thing I do is I look at where things are in the frame. So I, I really like the rule of thirds and I'm just going to adjust this so we get I want that uh, I want that sort of corner just to come in there like that um, I think that's good so first of all I've cropped in fitness images tend to look I'll just reach my pen ten, tend to look better in black and white actually so I am going to put it in black and white. You can see it's a bit blown out because we've used flash. Nothing's clipping though, which is really good. So as you expect for this type of image, looking at the histogram, most of the things are, going to, are in towards the black area um, on the histogram and not very much towards the high area. If we put it in black and white, that doesn't look very good, does it? So I'm going to put it in black and white later. First thing I'm going to do, drop the highlights. I think that's a pretty good drop of the highlights and drop the blacks. Now I want to get it all black but I'm not going to worry about losing things too much at this stage. Um, one thing I've done is I've put the clipping um, highlight on. I don't know whether it's called that shadow, clip, shadow clipping and that tells me when I've clipped it and it goes black i.e. it is the lowest value it can be and you can see that on screen so I'm going to keep going Ooh. yeah I've done it okay I'm gonna click off that because that's no use to me now so background is completely black the her contrast has increased though let's put it in black and white that is good in black and white the, the color in color it doesn't look particularly good you might see something like this type of thing where the saturations drop down um, that tends to look better in fitness th fitness images but I'm gonna leave the saturation as it is and I'm gonna put it in black and white so at the moment things I'm gonna do I'm gonna fiddle about with adjusting the white so I just want to lower them a little bit so whites isn't as dramatic as highlights so the white slider not as dramatic as highlights I'm gonna, that's minus 40 if I drop that makes a big difference but I'm going to leave it at for the moment minus 48. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the, t the, the tone curve. It's going to give me more contrast and it's going to give me the sort of look I'm after so I'm going to drop this a bit. I'm going to raise that a bit. I might, I'm going to end up with an S shaped curve. I don't want such highlights so I'm going to drop the highlights a bit. Now I'm going to put a, bit, uh, a point in there. This raises all the shadows, and you'll notice that that pure pure black I had has gone grey. You'll notice up here as well that what the blacks that were there have moved up. So that's my lowest value now here, and that's the type of thing I'm looking for. I think that looks really good. So next I'm going to just drop these whites a bit taking those right down I'm going to drop the highlights just a little bit okay and I like that that's good I'm there's several things I want to do I want to just get rid of some of the blemishes on the face and I must say that there aren't many blemishes on the face it's just sometimes they can stand out in this type of thing and I'm not being too 
not really being too picky, too careful. Although I noticed I had them all on clone. So I'm going to delete them all because I want them all on heal. And I'll do them all again on heal rather than clone. So in Lightroom 5, we've got this if you're using an older version of Lightroom. It might not be here. I had Lightroom 4 and I upgraded Lightroom 5 just for this really. It's so much easier than having to go into Photoshop. It's not as powerful as Photoshop, but it's pretty good. Let's just move that around there. You might, hear, you might be able to hear my computer in the background whirring a bit because this does, does take a lot of processing power and it always makes my computer when we're hearing when we're doing it. Right, okay, so got rid of the blemishes, but like I say, there weren't that many blemishes. Next thing, I don't, I want to get rid of this. I'm going to set this to clone. I want to get rid of the Nike swoosh. Actually, I might set it to heal. Let's get rid of that swoosh. It's always better to go over and make it a bit bigger if you can. Um, what Nike swoosh? Uh, I think if I zoom out, that's not noticeable. I will leave that for now. And I'm going to get rid of this Nike swoosh. But that, mm, clone or heal. I'm going to go with clone on this one. And again, what Nike swoosh. I don't like the type of material gives a lot of creases here. And I don't really, I don't like that. So. I'm going to come back to that. Actually, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to new brush and I'm just going to drop the highlights. And I'm going to drop the shadows and I'm going to drop the clarity. And I'm going to put this in like so. It's not it's not the model's fault. It's the type of material it creases quite e well you, I mean, to be honest, you can iron them and it would still have that sort of look to it. Okay. And I'm just going to check I've gone over the right areas. Yep, I'm happy with that. Done. So taking those out. Okay. So next thing is I want to whack the clarity up. Now whacking the clarity up does that. Notice what it does to my... Um, creases in my shorts but I don't want it everywhere and I don't want too much that it's the right look but not too much so I'm probably gonna go with plus 40 and that means on here it was minus 5 I'm gonna take it down to minus 45 because that will negate the effects of the global clarity increase on the face I've increased the clarity by 45, which I don't really want to do. So I'm going to reduce the clarity on the face. I go into clarity. Minus, I'm going to go for minus 45 to get rid of the effects of the global clarity and lower it just a little bit. And I'm just going to increase the noise handling because what that does is that's going to smooth the skin. So I'm going to make my brush bigger because I'm just going to go over it really rough first and then I'm going to tidy up later and I'm going to do a bit of the neck as well I'm going to do a bit of the neck okay and I'm going to stick the show mask on and I can see wh which bits I've missed although missing a bit isn't you know, the end of the world And where it hasn't happened, a little bit there, a bit there. Okay, now I'm going to go to arrays. You'll notice arrays puts auto mask on, and that's what I want actually, because I don't want to go over into the edge. But I don't, you know, going into the going into the black isn't going to do anything. But I don't really want to chance it. Oh, 
else. Sorry, that's for my graphics pen. I'm going to take auto mask off. I'm going to just remove it from the lips. I don't I want to see the text of the lips. Remove. I want to remove it from the eyes. Don't want soft eyes over here. Remove it from here totally. Remove it from the eyebrow. Okay, and I'm going to click done. And I'm going to zoom out. So that's looking really good. I'm really happy with that. I just want to do a little bit of toning and then a little bit of tidy up. So I'm going to focus on this arm. I'm going to make it look a little bit more muscly. So I'm going to have shadows and I'm going to drop the shadows minus 20 and the flow I'm going to put down here and the density I'm going to put down here. And so what I'm going to do, I just want to make a few, oh, let's turn this off. It's just certain bits darker to really emphasize. Let's make that darker. Not by much, of course. And I want to do a new brush because I want to make things lighter. So I'll go to highlights. So I want to make those midtones lighter. So I'm going to increase the clarity. Shadows. I'm going to increase the highlights just a little bit. And again, I don't want a high flow. So this bit here, this bit here. This bit here. And the only thing I want to tidy up now is a few loose strands on the hair. So I can do this two ways. I can do spot removal, and I'm going to go for clone if I do spot removal. And let's trace that out. And I'm not going to go to the edge, and you'll see why in a moment. It's going to get difficult when I get towards the face. Okay, so. That will get rid of it. Yeah. Click OK. But I haven't got rid of all of it. And the reason is I'm going to use brush. New brush and exposure. And I'm just going to drop the exposure. And I'm just going to paint over it. And I'm going to put and I'm going to put the flow and the density back up. And I'm going to put auto mask on because I don't want to get I don't want this effect in the skin. And I'm going to take auto mask off for this one, just to get in a little bit closer. Okay, so that's gone. I'm going to get rid of that as well, and I'm going to get rid of that bit of hair and these here. Okay. Zoom out again. And they're gone. Now I don't know whether I like these bits here. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same again. So again I could use um, spot removal or I could use the brush. I've got to make the hair look sort of natural, not like it's just been cut off. Ooh. Let's just move this up a little bit. So I'm just going to round this off. Get rid of these. 
obviously if I was doing this um, properly I would probably spend more time here but I'm happy with that I'm even happier with that and the last thing I want to do is I just want to bring up the clarity on the hair so new again I say bring up the clarity I just want to bring up bring out the detail really so I'm going to increase the clarity in the shadows and the great thing about brushes is if you don't like it you can undo it it's quite easy to do Ooh. Up there, okay, and I'm happy with that. So that's the image. Here's the before, and here's the after. So that's how you can easily change things to give a really good fitness image, obviously. Um, haven't used Photoshop and obviously need um, quite a fit model who's prepared to do that or or a weightlifter or such um, but it's, it's very doable and it's very easy and the results are really good let me know what you think in the comments below and if you're interested in watching more of my videos please subscribe and of course you can see more videos about photography um, at the end of the video goodbye have a look at my other videos and check back in soon all the best.